was a biggie that came out on the list Friday and it's it's not every day a former MVP is essentially cut and cut loose so three years after uh, winning the MVP and also one of the NL rookie of the year but that's exactly what happened to the former Dodgers center fielder Cody Bellinger LA not tendering Bellinger after two dismal seasons he had a shoulder injury in 2020 and that complicated matters, but he could never really regain that form. And so this is Juan Taribo, who covers the Dodgers for MLB.com, tweeting out, can confirm the Dodgers will be non-tendering Cody Bellinger, making him a free agent. They'll try to bring him back, but that's going to be difficult given his market will include plenty of teams. Currently seeing this a lot this offseason, death, right? Protecting ourselves in a lot of different spots. This is a really good player. Uh, we, we, we like this player a lot. We can do a lot of different things. Obviously, his natural position is third base, but we feel like he can play first if he needs to. He can stand at second. He can even fill in at short here and there um, on, on occasion. So, um, so the ability to add a player to this caliber and, and add him to the group of infielders we currently have, we thought was, was the right move. You know, we've made a few transactions in the sort of, um, you know, right-handed hitting outfield spot space here in the last couple of days. And, you know, we felt like he's just a good fit for us. Um, taking a shot at some upside here with his, you know, the power potential. He's gotten on base when healthy. We feel like this is a good opportunity for us to, to acquire some potential impact. You know, we traded Cooper, which, you know, we like Cooper and had some good moments for us this year. I think given, you know, where he is at, what was at with us on our team, uh, we just felt like prioritizing the acquisition of, of Kyle made, made sense to us right now. Since 1961, Minnesota Twins baseball has brought community together in all kinds of special ways. We see that here again today. And as an organization, we're incredibly proud of the heritage in the history of our franchise. But we stand here with great anticipation for what comes next. We wanted to make cool jerseys, more so to make some jerseys that connected with you, that were uniquely Minnesotan. And I'm proud of the finished product, and I'm really proud to share this with you. It combines Minnesota with St. Paul to you know, give us a new connection with uh, each city. You know? So for me, it's uh, just bringing the communities together and. Uh, you know, coming together and building a bigger, bigger team here and bringing the fans out and, uh, you know, trying to bring that championship. Here. For more on these and other stories, keep it locked. MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.